Testing, testing. Hello guys and welcome back to another potting session with Jen. So I thought of a few things that I wanted to talk about with you guys today. And I know you guys might be thinking, is she gonna be doing every is she gonna be doing the same thing during every single potting session, which is this well stroke mat? Well, the reality of it is Golf is a lot of repetition. And it's a lot of doing the same thing over and over again. And the player that plays the best and performs the best is going to be the one that can repeat something the best on a certain week. So, yes, I do this drill a lot because guess what? Golf is repetition. So another thing that I thought I would discuss today is consistency. I think a lot of players, a lot of amateur golfers, one of the things that I feel like they always say they struggle with is consistency. And so with that, I think one of the things that can actually help with consistency is making sure that you have a pre-shot routine that is consistent and that you do every single time. I think one of the things that people need to realize is also consistency is not being able to repeat the same shot twice in a row because chances are you're not going to be able to do that. You might come close to producing the same shot twice in a row or producing the same putt twice in a row. But it's never going to be exactly the same. I mean, think about how many blades of grass there are on a putting green. You could hit the same putt and hit one blade of grass and it just goes offline. So consistency is really about reducing the margin of error. So I think that one of the things that people can do to improve their consistency is actually to make sure that they practice a good and consistent pre-shot routine. So remember one of the things I said in my previous video was in 2023, we're not going to do things without purpose. So I want you guys to make sure that your pre-shot routine has a purpose and that everything that you're doing in your pre-shot routine is suitable for you and not just because you saw somebody else do it. So for instance, like just now, obviously I was not going through my pre-shot routine. I was just trying to make sure that my alignment was right. So for the rest of this drill, I will go through my entire pre-shot routine, making sure I do it exactly the same as how I would on the golf course. And my pre-shot routine is not necessarily going to be good for you, which is another thing that I think is going to be very important because a pre-shot routine is going to be different for everybody. And like I said, every single thing needs to have a purpose. So the same goes with your pre-shot routine. Everything that you do in your pre-shot routine should have a purpose. So like, for instance, for me, I never take um, a practice stroke before putting. And that's just a personal preference. Obviously, there are a lot of players on tour, I would say a majority of them, still take practice strokes before they putt. For me personally, I don't like it. It makes me feel like I have less time and I feel rushed. So I never take a practice stroke before I putt. And that's why now, even when I'm putting now, I, d I don't take uh, practice strokes because like I said, this is exactly what I do when I'm about to putt. So I'm going through my full pre-shot routine here. So another thing that's important, like what I said, it's going to be very different for everybody. But you need to figure out what works for you. And one thing that I find that helps with that is knowing what kind of person you are. 
So for instance, somebody who is very visual, they might need to visualize the line or to see the ball going the hole, maybe see it curving in, maybe see a line on the actual putting green to see where they're going to putt. That might help somebody who is visual. But if you're not visual, it's going to be impossible for you to actually visualize the line anyway. So some people might tell you like, hey, you, you need to visualize before you putt or the same when you hit. Like some people like, you need to visualize the shot shape, blah, blah, blah. But if you're not a visual person, it's going to be so difficult for you to visualize anything. So this again goes back to what I said just now, which is do everything with a purpose. And don't just, it's not, it's never a one size fit all with golf. So like, you know. Tiger Woods might be doing something in his pre-shot routine, but that doesn't mean that you need to do it as well because you're not Tiger Woods. And that's not saying in a bad way like you're not Tiger Woods, but Tiger Woods and you are two different people with two different needs. So what Tiger Woods does is obviously going to suit him because he does everything for purpose for sure. That's how he got to where he is today. But just because he does it, and it serves him well doesn't mean it's going to serve you well. So again, knowing the kind of player you are is super important for this. Knowing how your brain works, what makes you work the best. Do you need to feel? Do you need to visualize? Or do you need to verbally tell yourself what you're going to do? Or maybe some people might even need to try to imagine that they're hearing the ball go in the hole. Maybe that's what works for them. But you need to figure out what works for you. And then you need to put it in your pre-shot routine. And then you need to consistently do it. So the more you consistently do it and put it in your pre-shot routine, then you're going to reap the benefits. And I find that if you keep doing this, you're going to find that your golf game is going to get more consistent, not by any skill, improvement of skill, but because you're doing the same thing over and over again. And that's kind of the purpose of a pre-shot routine because pre-shot routines are there so that you go through the motions. Like I said just now, the person that wins the tournament in a given week is the person that's going to be able to make the less mistakes, be the most repetitive in the sense, hit the same part over and over again, get the ball running over end over end as many times as they can. They're not going to hit the same shot for 18 holes, but they're going to make the less mistakes and be quote unquote the most consistent and find a way to get the ball in the hole. And the pre-shot routine also helps because it's going to give you something to think about. So instead of going over this part thinking, oh, I need to make this part for par, I need to make this part to beat my opponent, blah, blah, blah. You go over this part thinking about what you need to do and you do the same thing every single time which causes, which causes you to go through the same motions every single time, which increases the likelihood of you being able to produce the same stroke every single time. Whether that be a straight stroke, a pull stroke, a push stroke, if you're consistently doing it, your body is going to learn to adjust to it. And if you do it consistently enough, and... For instance, if you're consistently pushing the, pushing the ball, you're soon going to be able to adjust to that push. And obviously, depending on how much you practice, yes, you can fix that push, but there are also a lot of people who just plays with a push. There's no right or wrong. And I know that can be a little bit controversial because people are like, why would I want to push my putt? But if you're not going to work on changing your entire putting stroke, if you're not going to work for hours on a day, off a day working on your putting stroke, why change something? Just work around it. At the end of the day, all we need to do is get the ball in the hole. So, I think for this year, make sure that you have a pre-shot routine that suits you, suits your game, suits your personality and who you are as a player, as a person. And that's one way that you're going to be able to be quote-unquote more consistent. Because honestly, there's no such thing as consistency in golf. There's so many variables that's going to affect a person's game, a person's shot. And all you can do is do as many of the same things and repeat the same things over again as many times as you can to produce the most similar result. 
So, the quote-unquote trick of it all is, the more you're able to do something repeatedly and do it well over a period of time, the more you're going to be better at doing it and be able to do it consistently. And the more you're going to be able to do it consistently, the more it becomes like clockwork, the less outside factors are going to be able to affect that. So things like pressure, things like being in harsh conditions, harsh weather, focusing on what you can control, which is repeating the same pre-shot routine every single time, is going to help you focus on what you can control and not what you cannot control. You know, you can make a putt and your opponent could still make it and you could still lose. But if you go through your pre-shot routine, at the same time, every single time, you're going to be able to produce consistent strokes every single time and give yourself the best chance to be as consistent as possible. Like I said, in golf, consistency isn't really a thing. But you're going to be as consistent as you can possibly be. And you know what? Like I said, it's not always going to work out. But right now, you're giving yourself your best chance by doing it consistently, by making it clockwork, by reducing outside factors.